everybody. I'm Vicki Plude from the Fort Ever Library, um, and I'm here with Kate Stannard, our um, Board of Trustee member, and we're going to show you how to do a seed craft today, a seed craft hat actually. And you're going to get a packet, and in each packet you're going to have the topsoil, you're going to have a glue stick, you're going to have the stocking to hold your grass seed topsoil, and then you're going to put this into the pot or some other type of um, jar that we're going to have in your kit. You're going to have two rubber bands, your googly eyes and your smiley face, and the glue stick. And we're going to show you step-by-step -step directions in how to make this fun and awesome project. And we ask that you send pictures um, to Facebook or email FTE Library at sals.edu with photos so that we can display them. So we're going to start. Okay, first you're gonna grab your nylon. You're gonna open it up. You wanna get all the way to the bottom. The bottom of the nylon is actually gonna be the top of the head. So you're gonna to wanna to have that open. Ideally, you wanna do this outside. But we're gonna do it right here. And first you're gonna fill it up with your grass seed. All of this is going in? Yep. Okay. You can try and dump it in, but you want to be very careful. And you can use all of it. Yep, because you want lots of grass. The grass is, the seed is the hair. So you want to make sure it's right down in the very bottom with the nylon. And then on top of that, you're going to put all the dirt. And you don't want to mix it together. Leave the grass in the bottom. And then put the dirt on top. If you have a container at home, like a mug or some type of a plastic cup that your mom doesn't want or a grandparent, you can put the topsoil in that, the dirt, and you're going to start filling it all. Do you need to pack it down? Yep. Yes, Kate. Yep. yep. Okay. I think one more and then be good. Pack it. Okay. So you want to fill it up pretty good and then you want to go. If you have any extra that's fine. You might be able to make something else with it or just go out in your yard and put it in your yard. Do you want to finish it or? Yeah. We won't use the whole thing. Okay. You want to just get a nice big ball and you want to form it. And make sure you keep the grass at the top for the hair. But you want to kind of form it into a ball. And then you're gonna go and make a knot. You're gonna come around and pull it through. Now, if that's hard, we'll include an extra rubber band and you can just rubber band the bottom of your ball. Pull it through like that. So now you have your basic head with your grass hair on top. So now you're gonna take a rubber band and you're gonna form a nose. You're gonna kind of just pinch and get a little ball going like that. And then you're going to take the rubber band and go around and tie it off. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a partner in this, somebody to help you as they hold it and you rubber band it. Use a smaller rubber band next time. Yeah. There's your nose. So now, you're gonna take a glue stick, or regular white glue if you have it, and you're gonna glue on the googly eyes. You might need a lot of glue to make yep. it stick. And some sticks are just purple and some are just white. And you're going to glue on your felt smiley face. There, and then you're just going to kind of, you can remold it back to whatever. So when you make this, you want to leave this tail. Because what you're going to do is you're going to fill up a container with water. And you're going to put the tail down in. And the tail will soak up 
the water and that's how you'll wet it. You don't want to soak the head or anything because you'll just make the eyes and the mouth fall off. But the tail will soak up the water and it will moisten the seeds and you'll start to grow hair, which is really grass. And then what's fun is as it grows, you can give it haircuts. So it's just a fun little thing to teach you about growing and how to take care of plants. And that's about it. And we will show you in a week how this one has grown. So just look for that little snippet or a photo on our library website at www.fortedwardlibrary.sales.edu and we'll upload a photo and we'll let you know how it's coming. So try this craft. We're going to try and do weekly crafts. So check our website for what's coming after the following week. And um, any questions, give us a shout, 518. 747-6743 and we're in Fort Edward, New York. Be safe, enjoy, have a happy holiday.